Hello everyone, it's Lisa here from Morgan Tarot to do a reading for the zodiac sign of Libra. Alright, please remember it's a general reading, it's not going to resonate for everybody. I apologise for where I'm located. I'm having a break from my desk for reasons that I'm not going to elaborate on, but I'm just having a break from my desk and just feeling very drawn to and guided to do my messages here for just a few days and then I'll be back in my you know previous location. So apologies that it's not um, as pretty as where I normally would be, but um, you know, it doesn't matter the message. I assure you, it, I sh but I assure you it won't impact on the messages that I give you. Remember, it's a general reading, it's not going to resonate for every single person out there. Uh, but it's not going to resonate for every single Libra out there. Um, but I do hope it resonates with at least some of you, if not most of you or many of you. Um, I'm going to be pulling, it's going to be as I would regularly do, um, a freestyle reading. So um, I'm going to first of all get some uh, overall energy from uh, my Love Oracle decks. Then I'll get some tarot messages, clarify any messages that need clarifying and then finish off with uh, an Oracle message at the end for some overall advice for you guys. So this reading is a love reading um, and if I do feel like a twin flame energy or a soulmate energy is coming out, I will uh, point that out as well. But for now, it is just a general reading for the collective of Libra for the month of November, 2021. My camera is moving, so I do apologize. I'm gonna just keep checking on that and making sure I'm having some trouble with my tripod in this location, but we'll see how we go. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's get some overall energies for uh, the month of November for Libra in love. So what does Li Libra need to know in terms of love for the month of November, 2021? What does Libra need to know in love? Overall messages, overall energy for the reading. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, we've got love here, unconditional love, self-love, um, passion, affection, and attraction. Wow, this is all about oneness and coming together. We've got the lightning card, which is about sudden change. Much like lightning reflects, you know, it's shocking news, it's surprise, it's having an epiphany. So the lightning card here is all about sudden change. It's about shocking news. It can be about an epiphany. Um, you know, upheaval, transformation. Um, yeah, so so far we've got love and lightning. Let's find out what else for Libra for the month of November 2021. Thank you, Spirit. What else do we need? Kisses. Yeah, I kind of thought that was going to come out. The Kisses card for me, you know, it says unconditional loving, giving and receiving affection and falling in love. I feel like this person really wants to kiss you is what I felt. Um, I feel like, you know, with the love card coming out, someone who has a lot of love for you, um, who maybe with a lightning card here, you're not quite aware of that right now. Maybe they're not expressing that to you. It could be that you're in separation. It could just be that they're not very expressive about how they feel towards you out of fear of getting hurt or some other reason. I mean, you know, you'll know if this resonates with you. Um, got the paradise card now. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, and enjoying each other. Now, we've actually got the oneness message here twice with the love and paradise card. I do feel there's a huge amount of love here. Um, and I'm, I'm seeing, you know, a quite positive message so far. Hallelujah. It's not a, uh, it's not a separation ending, you know, uh, traumatic message of someone, you know, doing the wrong thing so far. Let's keep going. I'll, I'll get one more for Libra and then we'll, I'll go to another deck to get some more overall um, energies from the Oracle. All right. One more message for Libra, please. In love for the month of November, 2021. What else does Libra need to know in relation to love? Spirit. Thank you. Got the palm tree, awesome energy, stability, security, long-termness, permanence. Um, you know, sorry guys, my camera keeps moving. It's really bugging me. You know, this is all about, you know, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility, amazing energy here with the, uh, the palm tree. And at the bottom of the deck, we've got the coffin energy. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. I feel like this is uh, doesn't have to mean there's been an ending. There could have been an ending recently with you guys, and you've got you know you've really got your crap together here. But I'm seeing this more um, as you know, you guys really. I feel like it's almost like something of the past, um, a certain way of being, some problems that you've had, something that's been very you know difficult and challenging. Your connection that's caused a lot of drama, conflict, chaos has perhaps. Um, been put to the side and you guys have transformed from it is what I'm hearing it's almost like an ending to not necessarily the connection but a, a problem something that has, has been an issue between the two of you and it's almost like having a new beginning with each other because this problem is now of the past you know that's what I'm seeing here you know it's about growth change transition transformation as well the coffin energy so um, let's go ahead and see what other energies we've got here all right can I get uh, five more cards from the Romance Angel Oracle for Libra for the month of November 2021. 
What does Libra need to know in relation to love? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, we've got three cards. Whew. Okay, we have got the Soulmate card. Um, yes, this is your Soulmate. Not sure why that's over here. We've got Soulmate. Yes, this is your Soulmate. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Sometimes a new love card for me represents uh, a new uh, a new beginning in love with someone from the past. You know, it doesn't have to mean a new person. It says a new person, but for me, that energy is all about you know re you know it can be about finding new love with a person that you have a lot of love for. Um, and then we've got the finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. There could be something here, you know, there could be financial situation impacting on either of you guys. You know, it could be related to either of your work situation. All right, let's get one more. And, and it can, don't get me wrong, we can have a lot of, you know, financial issues can really impact on our connections. You know, if we're not doing well financially, then it quite often impacts on our well-being, doesn't it? And then that therefore impacts on our, you know, the way we feel about ourselves, which often translates into our connection with our significant other. And the last card I've got here is the flirt card here. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Bottom of the deck, we have got the engagement card. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And I guess overall, that's what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing a connection that um, is evolving here and expanding and transforming. I don't know what's exactly happened here, but we'll go ahead and find out. All right, let's get, I'm gonna get um, two or three messages here from Spirit. This Work Your Light deck is my messages from Spirit. What do we need to know for Libra for the month of November 2021? Two or three messages, thank you. All right, we have got the protection card. Call back your power, cut the cords, soul retrieval. Excellent, that's all about, you know, just finding your power again, moving back into your power from a, maybe a position of powerlessness in the recent past. We don't. I mean, I'm seeing that there's been some kind of blockage here in this connection. Okay, we've got the other two messages here. The initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. And we have the star seed, what lights you up? So I feel like Spirit, you know, is, is reminding you here that, you know, you are protected here, but you do need to call back your power here. This is all about, you know, bringing back, you know, really standing in your power here and embodying that power and not letting anyone take that power away from you. Um, this is all about, you know, crossing the threshold. I feel like you've crossed some form of threshold that has been challenging for you in the past and you're kind of moving from, uh, you know, difficult times into, you know, calmer times and more stable times. And the star seed, what lights you up? This is one of the most prominent cards in this particular deck because it is the work your light deck. And this is all about, you know, lighting yourself up here. Um, which I do feel like something here is lighting you up, lighting you up and lighting up your energy. All right, um, at the bottom of the deck, we have got the keepers of the earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors, ancient ancestors stand behind you or beside you. So we have got a beautiful message so far, guys. I'm going to um, now pull some messages from the tarot and we will clarify any cards that need clarifying. Can we please have true clear messages here for Libra for the month of November 2021? We have got the chariot and the two of pentacles and we'll get messages from the oracle to finish off. All right, we've got the nine of cups now here as well. Uh, 2021, we've got the magician. Beautiful, what else do we need for Libra? For Libra, for the month of, for Libra. Oh. Okay, for Libra for the month of November 2021. What else does Libra need to know for the month of November 2021? Okay, we've got the King of Swords. All right, five more, and then we'll have a look at what we have here. Five more. Okay, we've got the, wow, the Six of Wands. Beautiful energy here. The Four of Cups. Thank you. Okay, we've got the Three of Cups. We've got the Page of Pentacles. And we'll get one more one final message from the tarot for Libra in love, November 2021. Thank you. Woo, that one jumped out of the deck, the Three of Pentacles. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Lovers card. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so from the beginning, guys, what I see is 
a lot of love here someone who wants to kiss you someone who you may not expect to be feeling this way perhaps you guys have had an ending perhaps this person is not very expressive towards you there is some kind of sudden shocking unexpected change here now this for me is almost like the tower energy this could be someone that feels this way about you but hasn't been very expressive about how they feel towards you at least not recently you know you guys could be on a break you guys might not be talking right now you guys could be even together but just kind of feeling very um, distant from each other here so I feel like it's kind of something that you're not quite fully aware of so I feel like you're gonna have some kind of epiphany here with this connection you're going to find out something perhaps that you didn't quite didn't quite feel or know about is what I'm hearing now with the kiss kisses energy here and the love card you know this they are both about unconditional love so we have a very consistent message here and I've been getting that with most of my messages to be honest for this month there's been a very consistent message in the Oracle and the Tarot to be honest so I'm seeing a very consistent message here again for this reading as I have with Scorpio and Sagittarius um, so there's a lot of love here it may be shocking and unexpected to you you may get an epiphany about this person which is a beautiful thing if it's good news and someone feels this way about you and you weren't quite sure about it because they weren't being expressive that's always a good sign rather than getting shocking news that they've been you know doing something very hurtful to the connection you know this is a good shocking uh, this is good shocking news you know shocking news that comes to that is an epiphany for you that brings in you know happiness and abundance and joy is what I feel um, with the paradise card being here again this just reiterates something very beautiful this is about happiness expansion joy playfulness oneness and enjoying each other this is all about really enjoying each other's company it's about you know positive energy you know really expanding together and enjoying yourselves um, almost just coming together as one and feeling that sense of you know that you can kind of take on anything together because you've got each other and you, you know you kind of just feel as though you can take on the world almost here that is one of my favorite cards in that deck um, the palm tree stability security perseverance uh, permanence growth endurance flexibility this is all a, a, this again this is about a couple that really is determined to go the long haul here to be stable to be secure to be permanent to grow together and to have that flexibility and endurance that I just spoke about with the previous message um, and you know you know spirit wants you to you know really you know bring take back your power here and I feel like spirit wants you to take that power back in terms of together in this connection you both have the power to make this happen um, and spirit wants you to remember that you only you have that power you know it's all about your willpower and your on your choice it's free will um, we got the soulmate card that came out first definitely a soulmate connection here spirit is saying it is safe for you to love and I feel like this is a new love in terms of you guys re I guess transforming again I'm, I'm getting a lot of transformational energy this month as well for uh, many zodiac signs so what I'm seeing is you know not necessarily that this person is new to you but you are creating a new love a new beginning in this connection you are coming together in a different way you are finding out new things about each other you are developing as a couple um, and you are you know you're growing you're growing in love uh, and that's what we always want to hear you know because if we're stagnant we're not learning we're not growing and we're not moving together in the connection because the idea is that we want to evolve together we want to um, you know move through that different stages and, and progress in life together rather than growing apart which can happen in a connection uh, with a finances and career card here I do feel as though there is some kind of financial factor here that's causing some has maybe caused some some challenges in this connection it could even be um, when it says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now it can be even anything like you know um, you know someone you know in the connection not having not having the amount of money that they need to survive comfortably and it causes a lot of stress for them which then flows on in, into the connection because they then come to you feeling very stressed which causes a stress within the connection it could be that they are you know currently in the process of changing careers changing jobs and they're in a bit of a you know not in a very stable place right now but they're seeking to be back into that place soon so they're kind of in a bit of transition period it could be that someone's really focused on money and the other person is more focused on happiness you know it can mean a multitude of things but there is some aspect of finances and career getting in the way here and it does say and career so it could even be that someone's job you know um, takes them away from the connection it could be that they have to work away from the connection it could be you know the job um, you know entails them working you know ridiculous hours which impacts on the connection because they don't have the time to spend with you anymore because of the the hours that they need to put into their work so there is definitely an aspect here of money or job coming in you know coming in as a bit of a barrier in this connection but I don't see anything here that can't be overcome here because there is a very there is a, a huge amount of manifestation here that I'm seeing the flirting card after that 
uh, extend your lighthearted energy to others. I feel like you guys are, you know, have a very strong sense of, um, you know, if, uh, you know, chemistry with each other. I did see the chemistry card pop up somewhere. Um, I feel like you guys have a lot of physical attraction towards each other. I don't think I don't feel like that's a problem within your connection. Um, you know, crossing the threshold here, it could very well be that you guys are, you know, crossing a threshold here that you haven't been to before. You know, going to new lengths and new depths in this um, in this uh, connection because this is all about you know something growing. It's all about something moving forward and and going to a whole new level here and crossing a threshold. Um, now, from the tarot, we've got the chariot card. Now, you know, the chariot is all about someone who really knows what they want here, they're, and they're charging towards victory here and charging towards success. They're very sure, they're very confident in what they want and, and knowing that what they're going towards is something, it's almost like they know that what's going to be at the other side when they get there. They have that certainty that they, you know, that they know that when they get to the other side, the thing that they want is going to be there. You know, that's what I'm seeing with the chariot energy. That's how I feel this card often comes in. Someone who's very, you know, kind of knows what's at the other side, what's going, who's, who, what they're racing towards and what they're going towards. Like, um, you know, I feel like this is either your, me this could be your message or it could be your person. You know, someone here has a lot of willpower. Um, you know, they, they want to travel. They want to travel towards you. Whether they are, you know, at a distance from you or just feeling energetically distant from you. I feel like they have a lot of confidence and a lot of willpower right now and they're just feeling in control of their lives. They're taking charge here and they're, and they're just, you know, charging towards what it is that they want here. This is one of the fastest moving energies in the deck. So take it as it resonates. We can find out more when we clarify whether that's representing you or your person. But I, I see two people here that really do want to come together and I'm not quite sure whether that energy is yours or theirs or it could be a combination of both of you. With the Two of Pentacles here, you know, it looks as though you guys could be, I feel as though with the finances and career coming out here, this could be an energy of someone really struggling with balance in their life here. You know, is struggling to juggle multiple responsibilities in their life, um, you know, which we all have to do, right? It, it's, it can be a challenge. Um, you know, it's not always easy to, to find the time to manage everything that we have in our lives. So we have a lot of commitments going on. We have a lot going on. Um, and sometimes we struggle with balance and we struggle with giving uh, as much as we need to to something and we can give more to other aspects of our life and less to other areas so you know it's about finding you know that equality that equilibrium between the two because if we give more to one area and not enough to another you know we find ourselves in strife we find ourselves you know um, I guess you know people can be resentful um, especially if it's you know um, someone who loves you they can be very resentful about the fact that you know you're not you're not balancing things out here you know you could be really I just see someone really jug I, I see someone really juggling their obligations here someone who is you know seeking harmony but doesn't quite know how to go about it so I feel like they're not giving enough um, is what I'm seeing someone who's not really giving enough to the connection um, or I feel like this is someone who's either who's finding it hard to give what they need to give at work uh, and with friends and family as well as in the connection. I feel like there's almost like there's not enough time in the day for them to give to both. So there is an essence here of someone struggling with balance, whether that be you or your person. We'll go ahead and find out when we clarify. With the Nine of Cups being here, um, you know, this is someone very single, very happy in and of themselves, much like the Nine of Pentacles. You know, this is someone that is... Um, you know, they're really in their power here, as you can see. You know, it, it, this is like the wish card. This is about someone, you know, being gifted their desire. It's it's about choosing joy. It's about manifesting your dreams. It's about gratitude and abundance. This person is extremely great, you know, grateful for what they have in their lives. But at the same time, um, they're wanting something more. You know, they want that 10th cup so they can get to the 10 of cups. I mean, we're all looking to move to the 10 of cups, aren't we? So I feel like this card, although it's about abundance and happiness and joy, it is, you know, also known as my is the wish card. I feel it wants you to allow yourself to experience how fulfilling this journey can be. Like take stock of all the feels that you're surfacing and, and remember to practice gratitude for the manifestation of your dreams. Um, you know, this card coming out really is a message of you know harmony prosperity you know working hard to to work towards what it is that you want and enjoying you know life's pleasures here um and just seeking into in seeking in you know just really diving into joy here you know 
just self-care, self-love, abundance, happiness, joy, contentment, someone who's worked really hard for what they have and, and how they feel in their lives. I feel like it's more less about work, working hard, you know, in a, in a career and work sense, but and more about someone who's done the hard work on themselves here, on building themselves up again and self-love and self, you know, self-belief. And this person has that in, 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 you know, in bounds here, whether this be you or your person, we're going to clarify and find out, but I see someone here who is very happy all by themselves, but really would like to have that, you know, that 10 of cups here, that extra cup here, you know, it's not, it's not a need, it's a want, right? And that's how we want it to be in, in love. We, we don't, we don't want to need something. We want to want it to, you know, to complement our lives, but not to fill a hole and fill a void here because we're empty because that needs to be filled by ourselves. With the lovers at the bottom of the deck, I do feel as though, again, you know, as we know, this is a soulmate energy. Um, and I see a new transformed love here um, that's going to be, you know, really open and really positive. But with the lovers being here, Page of Cups next, yeah, Wheel of Fortune. This is a destined karmic connection. You know, someone is going to be communicating their love here. And, you know, karma is involved in this connection. Karma is going to... Yeah, look at that, guys. We've got the Ten of Wands. I do feel as though there is some form of burden here in this connection. And then we've got the Sun message, the happiest card in the deck. And then the Fool is following that. So, you know, there is certainly um, a, a message here about, you know, two people that are meant to be together that are probably need to do a bit of, needed to do a bit of work um, on themselves to come back together the right way. Um, now I've got the Magician here. So, you know, this is all about manifestation. This is about someone who is manifesting what it is that they want to bring into their life. You know, the magician is, you know, card number one, uh, after zero, the fool. So after, you know, um, taking that leap of faith in the in the deck, we've got the magician here. You know, this person is all about skill, talent, um, powers of manifestation. You know, someone who's very creative and very resourceful here. Um, you know, this, the magician, you know, is all about, you know, potential you know, creating potential and, and, and about magic even, you know, you, you know, you're everything that you need to succeed here, um, Libra. If this is for you, then, you know, you need to know that you, you have everything that you need to succeed here with a magician card. Um, you know, you have some badass manifestation energy here from the cosmos. And, you know, this is all the skills that you require. They're, they're already there. They're at your fingertips. So if you are wanting to manifest this, like spirit is literally saying to you, this is the best time and the most amazing time to manifest everything it is that you would like to bring into your life. Create that magic, you know, activate that magic. It's within you. You have the willpower, you have the desire, you have the actions. And, you know, you really do have the ability to manifest anything here that you would like to bring into your life. You know, if you are a bit unsure, you know, trust in the potential that resides right within you. Okay, so you can really manifest whatever it is that you desire and bring it into action here. Bring it into fruition, Spirit is saying. And now with the King of Swords energy here, uh, you, know, the, you know, the King of Swords is very intelligent. He's very logical. Um, he can be very much all about rules and law and judgment. You know, he can be very judgmental. He's very, he's a clear thinker though. He is a strong communicator. He's a leader, he's truthful, he's all about proof, truth and proof, right? He's someone that you cannot lie to, you know, he is someone that has been burned, has been hurt, and as a result, has really got a hardened shell now, very much like the Queen of Swords. You know, these guys do not play games, they do not tolerate, they do not suffer fools, and they do not, you know, they know what, they know what the truth is, and if your truth doesn't match theirs, then you're gonna know about it, right? So I do feel as though this person is, um, you know, it's almost like, you know, they're blending, whether this be you or your person, they're kind of blending their mental and spiritual pursuits here. And it's all about bravery and courage. This is someone who's very intelligent and makes wise decisions about them, about their life. Um, but he does, this person leads with facts, rationale, you know, principle, um, and a very logical mind. And they are very much about, you know, the rules of, of, of the game. Um, so that they don't agree with someone doing the wrong thing in love and, and burning someone and hurting someone and breaking their heart and cheating on them and lying to them. The King of Swords is very much against all of that, as is the Queen of Swords. So I see someone here who is very much someone who, you know, um, has a problem with that. So, you know, if that's something that you stand for, then this could be resonating for you. Or I feel like if this is your person, I feel like you will know who this mes message is meant for, you or your person. Someone here is very much... Um, you know, can be very cutting here with the King of Swords coming out here. Um, but very much about, as I spoke about, you know, rules, law, the right thing and truthful and truth and honesty is, is a huge on their priority list here. 
All right, we've now got the Six of Wands. Now, this card here signifies someone, you know, this is a victory card. This is the most victorious card in the deck. You know, this is badass success, guys. It really is. It's about, it's about leadership. It's about um, accomplishments. It's about, you know, being seen. It's, it, this can be in the public eye as well. So, you know, you could work, you could be in the public eye, whether you are someone that is in the media, social media even, um, you know, you could be someone that's known to many people. You could like have a channel like this. Um, someone who's seen in the public eye here, you know, someone who, um, you know, can it's someone who wants victory is what I feel. Someone who wants victory in this love. And this this could be you, it could be both of you wanting victory here, but this is someone who's an influencer, very optimistic and, and, and inspires other people. Someone who's very happy, someone who's worthy of success and knows that they are seen and, you know, they're very grateful for that. So I do feel as though, you know, if this is resonating with you, you know, you feel very seen by your person. Even if you're not in the public eye, you might feel like you are, or your person could be in the public eye. Take it as it resonates. I feel someone here is feeling very seen. It could be, uh, it could be you. It could be that your person is really showing you the love now and desire that you've always deserved, and they're um, they're manifesting you into their lives, and you're now feeling very seen here because this card is very much about someone who's very seen, who's in the public eye, who's being recognised, who's being, um, you know, adored admired acknowledged the victory is here success is here it's being it's everyone applauding you know your uh, applauding you and your energies and the things you've achieved and if, if this is in love then this could be your person really applauding the work that you've done on yourself uh, i'm very grateful for that because it then brings you guys back together in this you know beautiful connection that we clearly have here with the lover and the soulmate energy as well as the other beautiful energy the palm tree and the paradise card along with the love and kisses card yeah, there's a very clear message here, guys, about this connection. It's a beautiful uh, beautiful message. And we also do have the engagement card. So there could very well be higher levels of commitment. You, you guys could very well get engaged here. Um, and, you know, from, from spirit we have, you know, your ancestors are, are standing beside you. So they are very much in agreement with this connection. And they are watching, you know, and they're wanting you to have this happy beginning, this happy new beginning. All right, next card we have is the Four of Cups. You know, this card is very much about uh, missed opportunities for abundance. You know, this is about a time to meditate. It's about being frustrated, potentially. It's about rejection, betrayal. It can be about betrayal. Um, it, you know, it's almost like Spirit is saying, you know, you've been bored with something. You've been a bit of a brat or something here. You know, you haven't appreciated what you had at the time. Perhaps in the past, you know, you were very apathetic. Um, but now very introspective, I feel. You know, and I feel like stability kind of led to some form of boredom here or, you know, having something very predictable, I feel, and I'm hearing maybe things were very predictable in the connection in the past and it led to some kind of boredom here or not being grateful for what you had, uh, frustrated and not, not appreciating things. I don't know, I just, I see someone here who's not very appreciative of what they had and didn't really see what they had and acknowledge it in a, in a grateful way. But I now see you in your Nine of Cups energy, very grateful and very abundant and very joyous and really appreciating everything that you do have. Um, but I feel like you've been dissatisfied in the past, frustrated with your situation. And, you know, I feel like you felt, kind of felt like you're missing out on something in the past. But I feel like now, I don't feel like that's your current energy. I feel like that's a past energy, but we will clarify in a moment. Uh, with the Page of Pentacles here, I feel like this is uh, manifesting new opportunities. This is all about new beginnings here. This is about good news. I feel like you know this is good news. It's about uh, it's about a new opportunity here in this connection, a new connection. It's about exploring a new beginning together. It's about beginning again. It's really about earth magic. It's about making plans a reality here. You know, it's like this pentacle here represents a a really abundant new beginning, a new opportunity within your connection here. Um, then with the Three of Cups here, guys. It's about friendships, abundance, cooperation, community, closeness, coming together, celebrating, joy, communication, celebration, soul contracts, and so on and so on and so on. You know, look how happy these people are coming together here. They're celebrating union, they're celebrating victory. Um, it can be about friends and family coming together to celebrate something, but I feel like this is a very much a reconciliation message because it's very consistent with the rest of the message. You have manifested this, guys. You've manifested this into being. You know, you are in a nine of cups and you are, you know, content, but you're looking for that tenth cup here. You know, you're looking for that tenth cup and you may well see your person as a bit of a king of swords, someone who may have their guard up right now. 
You know, they may, as you see that sword here raised, this person is protecting themselves from you. You could have hurt them in the past, um, is what I'm seeing here. It could be the other way around. Take it as it resonates, guys. But we do now have two messages here of reconciliation. The Three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. This is uh, definitely reconciliation energy here because we have two of them together. I was going to say the Three of Cups very much felt like a reunion card to me. Felt like people celebrating, coming back together. And then I saw that we had the Three of Pentacles uh, that followed it for the end of the reading from the Tarot cards in the original spread. And I thought, yes, this is definitely a reconciliation energy. Spirit is confirming that to me now. These cards are very much about, you know, reflecting upon something, finding out some truths here, um, and just re really realizing, you know, um, it's about seeing the value again of this person. It's about seeing the value of this connection and really knowing what it is that makes you happy here um, with the Three of Cups. You know, really appreciating what you had in the past and, you know, wanting that again, you know, being more grateful now. You had a very disappointment. You had disappointment in the past with the Four of Cups, but I feel like now you really see with the Three of Cups, you know, what you had and you you're able to go back and really think about that because the Four of Cups obviously were going backwards and out of the Three of Cups and you're really recognizing that you were a bit of a bit of a spoiled brat and not really appreciating what you had and being grateful for what you had at the time. Um, the Three of Pentacles here is all about cooperation, working together. It's about, you know, sharing, listening, teamwork. You know, there's no limit to what you guys can manifest together here, working as a team. And I do see teamwork here with those two cards coming out. Um, yeah, don't forget guys, we've got the lovers here as well in the engage engagement card. All right, let's get some clarifiers here for Libra for the month of November. And as I spoke about the very beginning, remember we showed you the coffin card and I didn't feel like this was about endings. I felt like this was here to represent a new beginning about, it was here to re represent growth, transition, going into a new phase in this connection. So it's like, it's almost like the death of, of, of the past and the de an ending of a past, you know, way of being is what I felt and a way of, you know, yeah, a way of relating to each other almost. I feel like that is, it's a death of that. That's what the coffin is here to represent. It's a death of an old way of being in this connection and creating a new beginning for you guys. All right, let's get some clarifiers. So spirit, let's clarify. Why is, let's clarify the chariot first of all, spirit. Why is the chariot here? Can we have a clarifier for the chariot for Libra in November 2021? Why is the chariot here? Who's going towards victory here in this connection? I thought you both are, but let's have a look. You know, as I spoke about, you know, this is someone who's very sure here, someone who's racing towards victory, very confident. Um, and, you know, they know what they're doing here. They know what's, they almost know what's going to be at the other side here once they get there. Um, with the Five of Pentacles being here, you know, this represents someone who has, you know, some kind of difficulty here, some kind of challenge, some kind of, um, you know, look at the, look at this. This is someone who's really been left out in the cold here, left out, ostracized. Um, look at these two people, how, you know, disconnected they are. They're not even looking at each other. They're, they're, it's almost like they're just very, um, angry with each other, upset with each other, and they don't even want to look at each other is what I'm seeing here. You know, you could be worrying about the security, um, but you know, this energy here, it can be a chance to clear energy blockages, um, you know, but I do see two people here that feel quite helpless, that feel victims, that feel like victims. Um, and you know, maybe they're not sure how to move ahead here, but there's certainly, <sighs> And, and you know feelings here of insecurity um being unsafe and being really unhappy within this connection so i feel as though this is representing your past connection here you know there has been someone that's walked away in this connection left the other person out in the cold um and i feel like now you know this person that has walked away from this connection is now very sure about what they want and they're now you know able to confidently move towards it i do feel as though you left this person out in the cold and now you are having a change of heart here. You want to kiss this person, you love this person, you wanna have stability, security here with the paradise and the palm tree energy. You want happiness, you wanna expand with them, you wanna have joyful times with them. I'm feeling this is you, I could be wrong, take it as it resonates. Remember, roles can be reversed, they can flip flop all over the place during a reading, take it as it resonates if it does. Um, someone here I do feel as though walked away from this connection and now regrets it and is wanting to go back towards the connection, travel towards this person if needed. Um, I'm seeing 333 on the clock, if that means anything to you. That is also a reconciliation number and energy for me. Um, you know, it's all about reunion, the threes for me. 
and we did get we do finish off the reading with the three of cups and the three of pentacles and we you know so i do feel like that's a, a, an important message for you as well so i am seeing someone who's now very sure and wants to charge toward victory and success it's almost like you know as i said what's at the other side of this you, you kind of know what you're getting with this person you know what to expect it's almost like <clears throat> You know in the past you know you guys had something really great but there was something here that was causing a blockage here in the connection obviously you know you've left this person out in the cold i feel as though you got very bored here and didn't really appreciate what you had here with the four of cups um it could be with a page of pentacles here that you were distracted by something new here but we'll get some clarifiers to get a bit more information all right what is the imbalance here in this connection so with the two of pentacles i felt like there's a strong imbalance there someone was really struggling to balance um and have equilibrium in the connection um why is the two of pentacles here and who is it about okay why is the two of pentacles here spirit why is the two of pentacles here <clears throat> okay we've got the wheel of fortune so you know two of pentacles as i spoke about you know someone having you know struggling with balance in their lives not really having balance not knowing how to balance things out whether it be work life family life partner life whatever it was this person was struggling with the balance of the the two different you know aspects of their life here um you know with the wheel of fortune being here this is def definitely a karmic message uh, a karmic connection you're meant to learn certain lessons about this person and vice versa you know you guys have things to learn from each other here this is the karmic will this only comes out when there are karmic lessons to learn so there's no doubt that it's a karmic connection and there's no doubt you guys are soulmates here i'm seeing you know several cards that represent my soulmate energy um so yeah soulmates very much similar energy anyway you have lessons to learn from each other here the karmic will here represents you know you do good things good things happen you do shitty or bad things bad things happen you know there are consequences for all of our choices in life and all of our actions um so with the two of pentacles here you know someone was juggling it sometimes can represent juggling two people um take it as it resonates you could have juggled two people they could have juggled two people i do feel more like this message is about you leaving them behind not being not really seeing what you had and valuing it at the time but there could be reasons for that you could have left them behind because of their shitty behavior right i'm not saying they didn't do anything wrong i'm just saying at this point in the message i'm not quite sure what has caused the ending but i do see you walking away from them at this point and this could be karma stepping in here with the wheel of fortune you know this is about the karmic wheel getting involved you know um and you know you could have been struggling with balance here but it also could be that you know there was a juggling of two people as well with the karmic wheel being here there are lessons that need to be learned either way all right so I, I do feel as though this message is, uh, is, is about you leaving them and you could have struggled with juggling, but you also could have left this person because of their juggling. This person could have been juggling two people or just not giving enough to the connection that was you know, making you feel content. Therefore, you felt discontent, you felt bored, you felt unappreciated and you walked away from the connection. All right, because I do see a transformation in this connection um, and it, it does look like it's more long-term more happy more joyful more open and i do have two messages about you guys coming together as one which i don't feel like perhaps in the past that you were previously um but i do have lots of energy here of a, a, a transformation in this connection why is the magician here spirit clarify the magician what are we manifesting wow guys we've got the full we've got the full clarify the magician right so the fall is very much about you know it's card zero in the deck it is literally the first card in the deck um new beginnings you know a new potential it's about adventure it's about enthusiasm it's about awakening in a connection it's about innocence but it can be also be about a lot of optimism too sorry guys my lighting's just gone out but hopefully you can still see this okay i will charge the lighting for my next reading um you know this is all about um you know we all have a kind of you know we all have dreams don't we like that foolish kind of notion of what we want to achieve those big 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 dreams that we have i feel like you know you've you've thought about this you've thought about what you want to do in this connection you've had a bit of you know childlike optimism and you know it comes from deep within and you know, it's almost like you just know something magical can happen in this connection um there's a journey here that needs to be taken and i feel like you're ready to take a leap of faith here a divine leap of faith and claim what you feel is owing to you that you deserve 
So here you are really focusing on manifesting something, taking a risk here, going out on a limb here, not being quite sure exactly how it's going to turn out, but just knowing that it, you know you need to do this because this is the right thing to do. This is what you want. This is how you're feeling very drawn to. Now, as I spoke about already, you know, with this Nine of Cups energy just before it, you know, this is someone who really is happy in and of themselves, but you've really been focusing on leveling up here raising your vibration. I feel like you know now that you attract what you are, not what you want. That is very much, you know, a, a spiritual lesson. And I feel like you've had an awakening of some sort here in this separation. You know now that you attract what you are, not what you want. So you've really focused on yourself here. You're focused on self-care, raising your vibration. You've really leveled up here is what I see. Um, I don't need to clarify that because that's a clear, you know, message for me there. But clarifying the magician here with a fool here, I see someone who's now ready, who's really leveled up here. He's in a very high manifestation phase of their life. They know how to manifest exactly what they want and they're ready to do that. They're ready to go out on a limb here. They're ready to, you know, really um, exercise their imagination, their desire and really go after this because, you know, this person is, and I feel like it's you, um, is really wanting a new beginning here, you know, to have a new adventure and more, and has a lot more enthusiasm about this connection and just really wants to go towards this. So this is all about having a new beginning in this connection and creating it yourself. You know, working really hard on creating it yourself. All right. <clears throat> Why is the King of Swords here, Spirit? Why is the King of Swords here? Show us why the King of Swords is here. Thank you. I am feeling, guys, that this is you. This is a message. This is about you uh, walking away in the past for whatever reason. There has been something karmic here. Someone has juggled. Someone has been unfair and imbalanced here in this connection. But I do see you. I feel like it's you. Take it as it resonates. You, you know, working towards manifestation here and having a leap of and taking taking a risk here and taking a leap of faith because you know it's going to pay off. Like I spoke about at the beginning. I feel as though after walking away from this connection that passed, you now know exactly what you want and you're charging towards victory here. You know, um, after imbalance, you know, the karmic will is going to lead you to whatever you karmically deserve within this connection. I feel like you feel like, I feel like you know that you deserve each other here. You deserve to have, you know, a new love here, right? You deserve to have that. You know, this person is your soulmate and it's safe for you to love this person again. Because you guys are all about, you know, transforming here. You know, we've got all the transformation energy here. And I don't, I feel like you kind of didn't expect this to happen as well with the lightning card being here. I feel like this is also an unexpected thing for you. So look at all this, guys. This is all about transformation. We've got the love, we've got the lightning, we've got the um, paradise card, we've got the palm tree, and we've got the kisses card. This is a very consistent energy. I love it when I get messages from the oracle that are really consistent because it's very easy for me to read as a reader. This is about transforming a connection after an ending, creating a new beginning here. That was a clear message from the beginning of my read. Now, <clears throat> you know, new love here. Clarifying the King of Swords, I got the Knight of Swords. <laughs> More swords air, swords, air energy here, guys. So clarifying the King of Swords, I've got the Knight of Swords. With the Knight of Swords here, guys, you know, this is... Someone who's acting very hasty here. Someone who's, you know, charging in here without a lot of thought here. Um, you know, they've made a decision. They are very intelligent, but they're, you know, they've made a strong decision and they're racing towards that. They're very determined. It's almost like they're saving the day here. Look at them charging in here to save the day. Um, very ambitious. They're very assertive and they're ready for, you know, they want their success. They're sure now. They're very sure about what they want and they're racing towards success. So, you know, this knight has one thing on their mind and it's running towards their success. They're determined, they're passionate, they're articulate, they're intelligent, and they have, you know, an intensity that is really hard to grasp. With the grace and speed of an athlete, you know, this knight turns on a dime and, you know, since he has no doubt in his sound logic, he will succeed. You know, he's very logical. Um, you know, very have a, has a strong sense of belief and, and almost like a competitive assertiveness here. Um, they know what they want and they're striving towards it. They do not have a problem with just going towards exactly what they want and they're not fearful of saying what they want and, and racing towards it. Um, you know, this is a lot of energy moving towards this connection. So I do feel as though... Um, yeah, I do feel as though this could represent your person having their guard up here after this ending. And um, I, now, I now see that as... Um, 
you know, and clarifying it, I, I do feel as though, you know, this person, your person is very guarded, but, but that is you racing towards them. That's, as you can see, look at the direction that the Knight of Swords is going in. This Knight of Swords is racing towards the King here. He's racing towards the King to bring in truth, logic, clarity. Truth is the most important thing to the King of Swords. And I feel like, you know, this Knight of Swords is ready to bring in the truth. And I feel like that's you. I feel like you're ready to bring this person the truth, clarity, maybe even an apology for, you know, running out on this connection. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but I do feel as though there was an imbalance here. There was an injustice here of some form. And, you know, you were very discontented in this connection. You may have even got bored. Um, and you certainly didn't appreciate this connection if this is your message. So I feel like this is you racing towards the, the King of Swords who is very guarded and defensive and you're going to give them some form of clarity about the ending of this connection and why, why it occurred. Um, but it certainly was karmic. There was a karmic lesson for both of you in this, uh, in this ending here, right? But I feel like, you know, you're still charging towards it. You know exactly what it is that you want and, you know, you want victory here. I don't need to clarify that because I see someone here that knows what they want and, and they're searching for victory. Um, let's clarify the four. All right, we have got the Nine of Cups to clarify the Four of Cups. So with the Nine of Cups, clarifying the Four of Cups here, you know, this is about, you know, as I spoke about before, the Nine of Cups, we already have it out here on the on the spread, is about, you know, someone who is, uh, it's, it's a wish card, right? It's about joy, manifestation, gratitude, abundance. It's about, the you know, the universe gifting you a wish, a desire. Um, because the, uh, it's clarifying the Four of Cups here, I feel like, um, you know, I feel like this is something that you, you almost didn't think you could achieve in the past. With this Four of Cups energy, this is someone very discontented, very unhappy with what they have, you know, not really valuing what they have and therefore rejecting it. With the Nine of Cups coming out to clarify this energy, I feel as though you now um, realize, if this is your message, I, now, I feel like you now realize that, you know, you've rejected this in the past and you... Um, are now remorseful about it and you now see the value of it almost. You see the value of this person. I feel like you now kind of see them in a Nine of Cups energy. They may still be single as well. I feel like you're single here with the, with the Nine of Cups coming out showing you if this is your message. Um, your person could very well also be single and I feel like this is you, you know, going towards now this Nine of Cups which you now see your person as someone of very high value because the Nine of Cups is someone of high value, someone who's very hard working, someone who's very successful, you know, but also very happy in and of themselves. Your person could be very happy to be single or could just be presenting themselves that way. Um, they may be very well, you know, established at the moment and just going along in life um, happily on their own, doing their own thing, enjoying their own company, enjoying the company of friends and family, just focusing on themselves. This is very much a self-love, self-growth card, someone who's really focusing on self, which is always the best thing before you can start a connection to really focus on yourself and self-love. I feel like, you know, you now almost like regret this rejection here and you now see the value in this person which I feel like is why this card is clarifying the Four of Cups. After rejecting, you now see the value in that person. It also represents you as well, you know. Um, you became, you you leveled up here as well. You know, after this rejection, after this ending, you know, you were able to work on yourself also. So we have the Nine of Cups here twice. So I feel like you're both mirroring each other in that regard and you're both doing fairly well in and of yourselves. Well, why is the Three of Cups here, Spirit? Do we have reconciliation here? Why is the Three of Cups here? Wow, got the Ten of Cups, clarifying the Three of Cups. So I do see happiness, contentment, wish fulfillment here. Look at this joy, look at this abundance, look at this happiness. I did. I, I wasn't sure if this Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles was a reunion, reconciliation energy. I felt that the Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles was a reconciliation energy. And I'm now seeing that you guys are moving, which I just spoke about, guys. Can't make this stuff up. You guys are both mirroring each other here with the Nine of Cups. This represented you. I feel like this is represent your person now, clarifying the Four of Cups rejection. Um, and now look at this, guys. We now have a reunion and a Ten of Cups. This is you guys coming back together with wish fulfillment, happiness, contentment. I couldn't have asked for a better card to clarify the Three of Cups and clarify a reunion here because we're all work working towards that Ten of Cups, aren't we? And we, all, we also know that you're both mirroring each other on a Nine of Cups right now. So you both are achieving that extra cup. Did I not say at the beginning that you want that extra cup? You don't need it, but you want it. And here you are achieving it here with a Three of Cups, Ten of Cups clarifier. So I'm seeing a couple, you know, coming back together and having the happiness that you've always wanted in this connection. Something you may not have had the first time around, but you certainly have now. All right, Spirit, let's get another card to clarify. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? I love this message, guys. It is so, I'm so thrilled for you. 
Oh my gosh, this is serious, guys. I just got the Three of Pentacles to clarify the Three of Pentacles. Oh my god. This seriously just happened, guys. I'm not making <laughs> I'm not making this up. All right, so clarify. Sorry, I get really excited when I clarify a card with the same card. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, we have got the Three of Pentacles clarifying the Three of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. So, this is confirmation. This is confirmation from Spirit. You know, you are definitely having a reconciliation here, guys. I have no doubt about that. This is reconciliation energy, Libra. You are reconciling. If you're not reconciling with your person... Um, right now, I feel like you will in the future. There is someone here that you are going to come back together with that you have a lot of love for. I'm seeing something very long-term and stable here. I don't feel like you're expecting it to happen here with a lightning card. It may be very unexpected. It may be sudden. It might even happen really quickly. You know, it might just happen overnight and suddenly, you know, you're in communication and things are moving forward really nicely and everything's going well and it just moves from there. I just see something unexpected here with this lightning card coming out. But I do see, you know, a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, a lot of love, a lot of wish fulfillment, a lot of kissing, cuddling, soulmate, beautiful energy. I see a new, I feel like you feel, you know, you guys feeling safe to love again. And I see a new love. And I, when I say a new love, I mean a, a new love between the two of you, a new found love for each other. You can't make this stuff up, guys. We got the lovers at the bottom of the deck. That, that is a soulmate past life connection. There's definitely been an ending here in the past. You left them out in the cold or vice versa, but I feel like it was you. And it could have been because of their behavior. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you just abandoned them. They've done something obviously to cause the ending. Someone would struggled here with balance, but there was karma in the end. There's been a karmic justice here. And you're mirroring each other now with a nine of cups, nine of pentacles. But I do see, I do see that you are achieving the 10 of cups. Both of you are wanting that extra cup and you're not far away from it, guys. Seriously, Three of Pentacles clarifying the Three of Pentacles. This shows me two people that are really working together here. It shows me two people that are cooperating, working together, uh, teaching each other new lessons, karmic lessons. It's about sharing, listening, teamwork, abundance, happiness, joy. You know, there is really, and I spoke about this previously when I got the Three, three of Pentacles, there really is no limit to what you guys can manifest together is what I'm seeing here. I, I see that you guys have got something so amazing coming in here. I truly hope that this is your message. All right, I'm gonna get a few final oracle, a few final love oracle messages, then I'll finish with one message from the Wisdom of the Oracle. Two or three love messages here. I didn't mean to hurt you. These are my own, that's my own oracle message. I, I feel as though you didn't mean to hurt this person, guys. I do feel as though, um, Libra, this is your message towards them. I feel like you are saying, I didn't mean to hurt you. What else, spirit? What else? What? Oh, wow. We've got time will tell. And I do feel like that is very much the case. Time is of the essence here, but I do feel as though time is actually going to tell. In time, this is going to unfold, right? I'm yours forever and ever. Wow. Beautiful message, guy. And I'm tired of running. Yeah. Whether this be you or them, someone's tired of running away from this. Time is going to tell. And, you know, you guys have, you know, you really do have each other. Wow, bottom of the deck. I don't want to wait any longer. Please be mine now. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful, this energy. I love getting readings like this. I haven't seen a lot of toxic energy here and I love that, you know. It doesn't mean that there hasn't been anything toxic in your connection. I just, I don't see it here at this point. I feel like there has been an obviously a disappointing ending. Someone's been left out in the cold. Um, but, you know, sometimes, you know, that's how we learn the karmic lessons we need to learn. And that's how we can reinvent ourselves in a connection and make it even better and know exactly what we want the second time around. All right, let's get a final oracle message to finish off for Libra for the month of November. What does Libra need to know in relation to this connection? What does Libra need to know in relation to this connection? We have got new life. Oh, my gosh. Okay, guys, we've got the new life card. Oh, I'm not making this stuff up, right? Wow. Wow, guys, honestly, new life. Uh, we've got new love, new life. We have, you know, this is a new love. You guys have got new love, new life. This is a, and you know, we've got a lot of energy, which I've already been through. You know, this is very much about you guys um, growing here and having an opportunity to grow in this connection, to create a new connection in this, between the two of you. It's like a breath of fresh air. It's like, 
it's reinventing yourselves you know it, it's so beautiful i just i feel like your connection is really renewing itself it's going to be completely different and transformed with a lightning energy um, it's going to be transformed it's going to happen unexpectedly i feel and quite quickly it's going to develop quite quickly you're really going to connect with each other it's going to be exciting it's going to be passionate it's going to be joyful it's going to be yeah, I just feel like I feel I feel a really strong partnership here. I feel like a lot of teamwork is going to happen here. I see teamwork here in this new connection. I mean, three of pentacles clarifying the three of pentacles. This is these are two people that are destined to be together and know what they need to do. They they're determined to work together to make this work. And remember, connections, you know, long term relationships only last when you have that sense of connection, that teamwork. That that's what I see here. This is teamwork. You guys have got teamwork here. You've got a new life coming in, guys. New life, new love. Ah, oh, I'm so this is a beautiful message, guys. But all right, guys, if you've watched all the way to the end, thank you so much for your support. Um, please don't forget to like if this message has resonated with you, to comment and let me know if it does, to share if it might help someone else. If you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing. I don't normally sit on the floor to do my readings, but I just I'm doing it this week. I hope that's okay with you guys um yeah hit the notification bell if you haven't already done so that lets you know when i'm updating new videos and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video thanks guys bye